Uh, good evening, everyone, uh, respected chairpersons and the jury members. Uh, today, I'll be presenting a case report of. Uh, okay. Today, I'll be presenting my paper on identification of suspect by bite mark analysis. Uh, there are two case reports: one on uh, dead and one or decayed individual, and one on living individual. So a bite mark is known as the registration of the cutting edges of teeth on a substance caused by jaw closing. So McDonald has defined it as a mark made by the teeth either alone or in combination with other mouth parts. The scientific premise uh, regarding the bite mark analysis is stemmed from the fact that the human, human dentition is not identical from person to person because the tooth arrangement is unique in the individual based on the uh, tooth arrangement, either the intact teeth, decayed teeth, replaced teeth, or the processes. Based on these permutations and combinations, the teeth can be arranged into the 1.36, 10 to 26 combinations. This uniqueness is reproduced in the bite mark. So bite marks are specific to a person as DNA or fingerprint analysis. Similar, no two individuals will have the exact same dentition in regards to shape, size, and alignment of the teeth. The usual occurrence of bite during the sex and possible uniqueness of our dentition is relevant to our forensic investigation. Bite marks are often observed at crime scene on various parts of the human body, although they're common in certain parts of the body. In addition, no body part is immune to bite marks. These marks are not commonly observed in physical assault cases, but are common in sexual assault cases and are observed in both homosexual and heterosexual cases. These pieces of evidence have been successfully used to prosecute the offenders. So when we take up the bite mark analysis, we usually look into the following uh, quest questions, like when the face, uh, when faced with the person who has allegedly have been bitten history, the bite or the assault should be ascertained. When was the bite inflicted? Which part of the body were bitten? Which position were bitten parts at the, in the time? Did the bite take place through the clothing? Has the clothing has been submitted for examination already? Has the skin has been washed since the assault? Does the person suffer from any condition liable to have influenced the appearance of the bite mark? It was like example, if the patient is on any bleeding, uh, bleeding disorders or if the a patient is on any anticoagulant therapies. And if the features on a suspect dentition is useful in bite mark analysis being the shape of the dental arch or any a number of the teeth present in each jaw, presence of dentures or sharp denture clasps, Distortion of occlusion surface, occlusive surface during the biting, occlusion level of the teeth within the jaw, broken of the fractured teeth, any prominent teeth, biting pattern at various angles, including the bite overhang. So here I present two uh, cases. One is on living and decay, and one other one is decayed, which uh, human bite marks was essential element in proving the accused guilty. So in 2014, suspect with charge sheeted in respect to the uh, offense punishable under section 376 and 302 of IPC for committing rape on the minor girl miss, uh, the name has been not disclosed on the night of 26, 9, 2014 and thereafter causing the murder of murder by the strangulation uh, with a cloth. In complaint, it was stated that defendant freely and consciously with intent to kill assaulted victim with bites and causing numerous injuries. Suspect was arrested but denied the murder because he lived cohabitating with the victim and that he acted in self-defense of his honor. Request was made by the officials to investigate the marks on the victim body with crime number 129 by uh, 14. A uh, complaint stated victim was made immobile, carried her to a nearby farm with grown up sugarcane, uh, what was a sugarcane field, uh, committed rape on her and throttled her to death. So uh, one of the lesions called attention because it seemed to be like a typical bite mark on examination. The left cheek region and the breast were well like well-defined lesions that clearly resembled a human bite mark. Thus bite mark was a chance to define the suspect as the author of all the injuries. So with all the AFOS guidelines, IFOS guidelines and IBFO guidelines, we uh, recorded the case. Uh, in fact, uh, initially it was recorded by the police officers and it was sent to me. And later, uh, I requested that uh, it would be, uh, if at all, if, if it was not cremated, I would like to take an examination. This was the case of photographs which they had sent earlier without the scale photographs. And then I went to the mortuary and I had to uh, examine with the scale photo, uh, took the scale photographs. So description of the observed injuries on the victim were like single, singular tooth marks could be recognized from the details, normally left cheek by biting surfaces. Bite marks showed all anterior, superior, and inferior teeth from canine to canine, numbered according to the like three to three. So the suspect dental arches were uh, in elliptical format. Teeth were predominantly healthy. Transverse width was uh, from one, uh, canine to canine was uh, 40.1 millimeters. The tooth one one was attrited and uh, one two was peltally placed from the adjacent. So the upper arch midline showed deviation when compared to the low, sorry, lower arch midline. So the suspect's dental impression in wax and dental cast photographs were obtained. 
and uh, bites were made with the uh, incisive action to get impression of the incisal edges and a portion of labial and lingual surface of the upper and lower tooth were examined. So it was both on the edible and uh, wax surfaces were taken and the uh, casts were taken and it was photographed and uh, cast was scanned or uh, scanned and the photographs belonging to the exposed to the attack were taken. The little cast was scanned and record of the biting surfaces. Bite marks determined on the victim caused by the accused were analyzed. Identification of the criminal based on bite mark was performed, comparing the unique attributes and patterns in suspects on dental impression wax photographs and dental cast with similar characteristics in injury. And uh, we gave a report as a probably the biter in the first case that was in the dead individual. In a living individual, this was uh, in 2019, and the case came to us in the uh, December, uh, sorry, May 2019, and uh, where the, uh, it was, uh, uh, even this case was a sexual assault, but uh, the patient was, uh, it was in a living individual. And I'm not discussing much here in this case because uh, the trial court is on, on process, uh, where bite marks on the upper lip and breast were seen, and in the, in also in the private parts. So same thing, maxillary arch was taken, and uh, the method follows was using the Adobe Photoshop. The image was life-sized image was taken. The cast was scanned and it was superimposed on the uh, bite mark surfaces. So the present case report displays a great significance of bite mark in forensic investigations. Bite mark value in forensic dentistry, dentistry relates mainly on the uniqueness of human dentition and this asserted on the, uh, one, one is, is reproduced and recorded in the injury. When analyzing a bite mark, a very important step, uh, a, a very important uh, when, when, when analyzing bite mark, a very important step is to compare the dental features between a subject, dentition, and the bite injury. Uh, the comparison of bite marks and the teeth model can be done by two methods like odontogram or odontometric triangle method, that is the objective, and superimposition method, that is the subjective. In present, we chose to analyze the bite marks using the comparison between the photographs of the victim and scan cast images of the suspect because it is a cheap, fast, and uh, trustworthy method. And bite mark evidence in court presentation has a current hurdle because deformations left by the suspect's dentition, irrespective of techniques used to analyze the bite marks, there will always be wrapping and shrinkage of the distortion. These deformations are inherent by variations in tissue structure, dehydration, and the photographic technique. In our cases, comparing with the widths measured in the dental impression and suspect's plaster model was found with difference of 3.5 millimeters, probably owing to the human skin distortion and shrinkage by elasticity of the tissues. Despite measurements made in the bite marks will present variations, but the relationship to the adjacent tooth remain, teeth remains the same. Since tooth position remains constant, identification based on these features were allowed. Individual character, characters, this concept can be applied to diastema, rotated teeth, missing teeth, teeth out of arch, in, uh, intercanine widths, uh, in, incisal grooves, or any other recognizable tooth features. In the first case, uh, the two, one two was palatally placed, which was a very valuable uh, feature in identifying the bite mark and the superimposition. So the confrontation between the victim and dental impression is in the suspected lashes demonstrates uh, 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 four to three, and same are also present in the suspect. So the suspected produced the mark in question. Plaster models of the teeth and dental works impression fully supported this statement. In consequence, he was condemned for qualified homicide. Because according to Indian laws, it was committed with cruelty and feature that impeded for made uh, impossibly the uh, offended defense. So this was extracted from the court orders. The High Court has referred the same. That there are useful, uh, they are useful in identification because the alignment of the teeth is peculiar to the individual bite marks. Maybe found in materials left at the place of crime. Example: foodstuffs such as cheese, bread, butter, fruit, or in humans involved in the assaults. When either the victim or the accused may show the marks, usually on the hands, fingers, forearms, and nose and ears. So in the case uh, report one, uh, the accused was uh, sentenced to lifetime imprisonment in a fully closed regime. This was the uh, judgment copy, which is available on the internet. And uh, case report two, it is still in the trial court. Uh, to conclude, while the criminal may lie through his teeth, his bite marks reveal all and do not lie. Uh, I thank Opportunity ISR for giving me opportunities to present my paper. Thank you, everyone.